Billing list number two. West, W-E-S-T, West, is an adjective. Off, in, or towards the West. As an adverb, towards the West. Um, west is actually a cardinal direction. In the top or up, we have the North. Down, we have the South. East on our right and left, West. Okay, West. Number two, steep. S T E E P steep is an adjective. Rising or falling sharply. Um, in this case, we have two pictures, and those are now on, on the right. The one is the one that announced that soon is going to be on a steep road. Okay, it's not flat, but it's steep. And the picture on the left, we have a steep slope. Okay, it's very steep. Number three, member. M E M B E R, member. It's a noun. A person or thing belonging to a group or organization. Uh, for example, we would like to be a member of the Real Madrid Club. Probably many of you are members of. Uh, Italo, Club Italo, or Club Magnum, or Centro Portugues. You are a member of the club. Number three, Glim. D L E A M, Glim. It's a noun. As a noun, it's a beam or flash of bright light. And as a verb, to shine brightly or subtly. Um, look at the picture um, on the right. We have a uh, probably a dark room, but then there's a gleam somewhere, probably it's a flashlight. And in the right, in the left, we have a uh, sun shiny and uh, the gleam of the sun is like very, very bright. When you purchase or you see a brand new car, the, the paint, it just gleams, okay? It's very, very shiny. Number five, fresh, F-R-E-S-E, -E, fresh. It's an adjective, just made, grown, or gathered. In this case, we have a picture of a fresh squeezed lemonade. Okay, fresh, just they did it in that moment. The opposite of stale. Number six, freedom. F-R-E-E-D-O-M, freedom. It's a noun. The right to use or enjoy something freely. Um... Many of you probably are waiting for that freedom that um, to do whatever we wish to do uh, without the pandemic, the coronavirus going on. Freedom. Number seven, speed. S-P-E-E-D, speed is a noun. The condition of moving or acting rapidly. Quickness. In this case, I put a picture of the Formula One vehicle that it, it runs in a very high speed. They go really fast. Speed. Number eight, steam. S-T-E-A-M, steam. It's a noun. Water in a gaseous state, especially when hot. The mist that forms when the water vapor cools and condenses into tiny drops. Look at that food, we can tell by the little steam that goes from the food that is hot, okay? The steam, if we boil water or your mom boils water to cook pasta, you might see when she opens the top of the pan, it comes like a big uh, kind of fog thing that is steam, is heat. And that steam forms little, um, Droplets, droplets of water because of the condensation of it. Number nine, beast. B-E-A-S-T, beast. It's a noun, an animal or other than a human being, especially a large four-footed animal. Uh, well, I put a picture of the, the beast from the beauty and the beast. He was a human and he was turning to a beast. Number nine, believe. B -E -L I E V E, believe. It's a verb to accept as true or real, to have faith or confidence in. You might believe in God. You believe in your 
parents' word. Whatever they said to you, you believe them. Okay, you believe. Number 11, speck. S P E C K speck is a noun. Small spot or mark a small bit. Uh, right here we have a picture of a speck of salt that it are grains of salt. And there's a kind of speck. They're very, very, very tiny that you can only appreciate how uh, the shape or how it looks like when you see it through a microscope. It could be a dust. A, a speck of dust as well. If you see something that is not clean, not very clean, and it's dirty, you might see in the top of it like white um, dust. Uh, those are specks of dust. Number 12, kept. K E P T, kept is a verb and is the past tense of keep. We kept um, the secret for ourselves, okay? We keep it, we always keep it, but somebody told me a secret yesterday and I kept it for me. Number 13, cheap. C-H-E-A-P, cheap. It's an adjective. Low in price, unexpensive. For example, if you're going to buy a pair of shoes that the regular price is $100 and they go on sale, they will say, okay, I'll give you 50% off on those pair of shoes. So instead of paying $100, you will pay $50. Uh, and then in the top of that, they will give you another discount. So you will end up paying for those shoes like $20. So those are very cheap. Okay, it does not cost a lot of money. Number 14, pretend. P-R-E-T-E-N-D, pretend, is a verb, to put on a false show off. In this case, we have a little girl play pretending that she is a doctor, okay? They're pretend, she, the other girl pretends that she is sick, so they're pretending. Pretend is to do something that you're really not. Number 15, greed. B-R-E-E-D, -E greed, it's a noun. A selfish desire for more than what one needs or deserves. In this case, this guy is just greedy person. He has probably a lot of money, but look at his face. It looks like he wants more than what he had right now. So greedy to, to, to wish for something that you have, but you want more and more and more. That it's called greed. Number 16, shelf. S-H-E-L-F, shelf, it's a noun, a flat piece of material such as wood, metal, or glass that is attached to a wall or fastened into a frame. Um, probably you might have a shelf in your, in your room where you put your books. Uh, we have in school, we have the, co the cobbies where we put our notebooks that is, that is a bookshelf as well. In the library, we could see shelves where the books are. Um, or you can use a, a shelf to, as a decoration, part of a decoration shelf. Number 17, list. L-E-A-S-T, list. It's an adjective. Smallest in degree or size. As an adverb, uh, is the smallest or lowest degree. In this case, we have a bird that has like two chicks. And one, it's kind of, it looks like big, but the only one looks smaller. So that's the list bird, okay? It looks like he was uh, born um, after or the last, at last. So is the list, or at least you could have, um, I don't know, decency to say thank you when somebody does something for you, okay? At least, it's just a small thing we can do. Number 18, eager, E-A-G-E-R, eager, an adjective, full of strong desire, impatient. For example, when the teacher asks a question and everybody thinks it's very easy, everybody, everybody wants to answer at the same time. So you're eager to answer that question, okay? It's, Yo, me, 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 please, me. Okay, you're eager to answer that question. Number 19, reason. 
R-E-A-S-O-N, reason, it's a noun. An explanation uh, for an act or belief, reason. Um, give me a reason why you didn't do the homework, reason. Number 20, chief, C-H-I-E-F, chief, it's a noun. A person of the highest rank or, or authority leader um for example this is a police officer chief okay everybody has to uh report to him he's a chief in case of the school we have teacher uh, cristina teacher claudia those are the chief but the uh, the chief that has like the highest uh authority in at school will be uh, miss elizabeth or lilina okay the, they're a chief 